All right, what's up for everybody? I've got a, uh, a Benelli M2 here that I was having some chamber issues. So when I, I was out hunting down in Texas, it gets dirty and dusty or bird hunting. And I would have problems chambering shells because I would get real slow movement in my action here. I actually got so frustrated with this. I've been through this gun a bunch and uh, took it apart, cleaned it as best I knew how. I, was, I got so frustrated, I took it to a gun shop who kept telling me, Oh, uh, you got too much oil in it, it's just getting gummed up, which made some sense because it was just really slow. But I mean, this gun isn't that old. I, it's probably been a few thousand rounds put through this gun. And I was like, something just isn't right. I just felt like it wasn't right. So I finally decided myself that I was going to do my own investigation. Came up with um, an idea to replace the coil swing. Now, I am spring. I'm not a gun expert. I don't claim to be a gun expert. I'm just a dude that hunts and fishes all the time and fixes things myself all the time. But I was at my wits end with this because people kept telling me nothing was wrong. It just needed to be oiled or cleaned better. And that was not right. This coil spring ended up being exactly what the problem was. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is a M2. This is the same for a Super Black Eagle, Super Black Eagle 2. I think it's all the same. You pull this butt tight. I couldn't find a lot of information on the web. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna make a video because I guarantee it's gonna help some dude out there. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter. You can see in the base of this guy, like there. You're gonna take that nut off of the base of the stock of this gun. And I'm gonna try to do this quickly so we don't waste a lot of time on video. And I may not use the right words, or the right terms, or the right labels, but you're gonna know how to do this yourself by the time I'm done with this, right? So, 13 millimeter, take this bad boy off. And this, the end will slide off. Now, pay attention, because in the base of this, you wanna make sure to put this guy back on the way you took it off. So, um, watch and look, it's labeled B, DX, ASX, there's different ways which will position how it's sitting in there. Make sure you put it back on the way it came off. And boom, here you go. You've got a couple shims here, depending on how you may or may not have your gun shimmed. But this is your tube that holds your recoil spring. And I'm calling it a recoil spring. There may be a fancier term for it, right? You're gonna take a crescent wrench and take this bad boy off. Now, I'm gonna give you a little trick. Find a little screwdriver like this guy, and you can stick it in here in the base of that tube and hold that spring in place so that it doesn't go shooting out when you take it off. Screw this off, slide the spring out, get you a new spring, slide it back in, hold it in place with your screwdriver, put this back on, get it tight down. So I've read some people like to use Loctite. I didn't because something tells me I may need to replace this again down the road. Put, your, put it back on. Again, put this on the way it came off, put your nut back on, and bam. And I'm telling you, this gun is still dirty. I have not cleaned it from Texas. I just got back from Texas. I have not cleaned this gun yet. There's still red dirt, <laughs> as you can see, on this, this weapon. This is the new spring I just put in. Look at that. Bam. Bam. And this gun's dirty. That spring was worn out, and I am convinced of it. I'm 100% now that I swapped it out. I know that was the problem. So if you have this issue where you're out hunting and you think, man, this thing's getting gummed up. Yes, maybe it gets gummed up, right? Maybe you get some dirt in it. Maybe you drop it in the water. Okay, all those things can happen and slow down the action of the gun. 100% agree with that. But I just felt like, man, this thing is not cycling right. I hunt with other guys that got Benelli's as well. They're cycling much better than mine. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was the recoil spring. I think that cost me 15 or 18 bucks to replace that. I just did it in a four minute video. DIY, do it yourself. Recoil spring, Benelli M2, Super Black Eagle, Super Black Eagle 2. Hope this helps somebody out, out there because I was frustrated. So don't be frustrated, know how to fix it now.